another episode of Batman the Telltale Series. I am here uh, live streaming uh, episode 5. Um, let's go ahead and click to begin. So, uh, yeah, let's give Twitch a second to catch up since we are live now. So, um, yeah, let's bring this up. Yeah, let it update its content. Uh, let's go through uh, my choices for a second. See what we've done up done up to uh, now. Let Twitch and as I said, let Twitch catch up. So, uh, yeah. Now it's saying okay. Hmm. Okay. If y'all if y'all really want to see this uh, in the for um in the video, it, it'll start. Um, you can pause the video. Um. All right. I see. So yeah, we we beat up Harvey, or I think we I don't know. I know we didn't beat up Harvey. I think. We romance Selena like everyone else. Um, we asked, we asked Lucius, but that was not. We punched Oz. Wait, no, we kept our cool, I think. And uh, we uh, we uh, um, we helped. Uh, I think we helped Dent. Oh, wait, maybe. Yeah, we helped Dent. Yeah. Slightly, but we uh, owe Joker a favor. Like the um, we to, yeah, we followed his advice. We paid off the enforcer. Um, we uh, went as Batman, and we went to Oswald. All right, and now we're on to uh, episode. Uh, Let's uh, look at the codex, go through everything. So I don't really have any update. Let's just go ahead and do this. We Alright, now that we've gotten that. Let's go ahead and uh, start episode 5. Yeah, um, I'm only going to do crowd play when I have people behind it. People behind me to uh, do it, do it with me. Um, so I'm I'm gonna try to start off next season of this uh, with a uh, few people so we can do crowd play. Maybe even The Walking Dead as well. But yeah, let's start. Let's begin. <sighs> Previously on Batman the Telltale series. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why did my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. Oh. So where are you gonna go? I got some other business I need to take care of. Okay. do that that was me getting rid of lady arkham's drugs the innocent people i did what i had to do i had to make the choice about what sacrifices to make oh, oh, oh you psycho oh, no you hmm. can do whatever you want to me lady arkham's plans are already in motion are they really <sighs> Sorry guys, I've been in bed. <laughs> I've been in bed and recording most of the day. I've been switching on and off. So Harvey. We took care of Copperpot. Now we need to take care of Harvey.
So, how's this going to begin? The city is still reeling from an explosion Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. Yeah. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham. Uh, what's wrong, Gordon? You're done, Gordon! Give up your badge and we'll let you live! Meanwhile, his opponents are routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist and demanded his immediate resignation. In oh. response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Yeah, sounds Our like mayor it. mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long do we let this two-face stay in power? How long can we... Hey, you, you can't be in here. Hey, you can't do this! Shut Shut up. Up. Let me go! Hey, oh let me my go. god. Time's up! You should have known better, Gordon. Uh... Now we nail your tongue to the precinct door by order of City Hall. Just try me. You punks. Check you, check you. Already? Just in time, Batman. Ugh. Mayor Dent's lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. Hmm. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. Dent is a sick man. He needs to be stopped before he hurts anyone else. Well, oh, maybe you can get him some therapy. After you stop him tearing the city apart. Yeah. Come on. The commissioner's still down there. Okay. I don't think we really like the commissioner, but he sounds like he's switched sides. Sure you're up for this. I have to be. Follow my lead. Chitty. Oh, ho 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 Oh. In the lobby, the commissioner. They can't hold out much longer. Okay. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, so got it. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Down. Oh, God. And shift you. We will. Uh. The commissioner, is he? God damn it. No. Not you two. Believe me, Lieutenant. Dent will pay for this. If you don't take him down, I'll tear him apart myself. Grogan was a good man. A family man. Sounds like it. Lieutenant Gordon! Gordon! Come on!
of it! S Sergeant Kelly, report. It's the mayor at Wayne Manor. He's got hostages, and he's killing them one by one until Bruce Wayne shows. He says, he says, <sighs> cops show up, he'll kill another. Batman shows up, he'll kill them all. Kelly, get out of Sir, there. Sir, I'm... I'll let the coin decide. Kelly! Kelly! Damn it! Ooh. Get yourself to a hospital, Lieutenant. Alfred, are you safe? Yes, I'm barricaded in the Batcave. I heard gunshots, okay. but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit, you're a formidable opponent. I should be able to keep Harvey talking long enough to get close. Then I'll make my move. It may be your best chance. Mm -hmm. I'll be standing by if you need me. It's time to end this, Harvey. Once and for all. Yep. Hmm. Now I want a safer Gotham. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. Without fear of being robbed or stabbed or or worse. I just I know I can make the city better. Hmm. If only I could Okay, I'll back you. Come on, Bruce. That joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life, and I've never seen an official I could believe in. Until you. Oh, thank you, Bruce. I, I... I promise I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. The only real question is, this election or next? We'll let the coin decide. Uh... Hmm. Lucky. But someone has to die. <laughs> Are you volunteering, Deborah? Harvey! Wayne! About damn time! Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. I hmm. throw you at Arkham. Burn down your home. I came to help my friend, Harvey. I don't want your help. I want you dead! That is the sickness talking. And I know you're in there somewhere, Harvey. <laughs> Wait. What am I saying? I've tried to fight it, Bruce, but I can't. Bruce, uh, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. He can fight He's it. stronger than I am. I've known you a long time, Harvey. You are stronger than your demons. I could always count on your friendship, Bruce. Until what happened with Selina. This city needs to be purged of people like you! All of you! Traitors! Terrorists! And cops who don't take their mayor's orders! Harvey, don't! This is the only way to clean up this cesspool! No, please! This is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. You were the fiercest DA the city ever had. True. Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a safer Gotham. You're right. This isn't me. Go. Go. Get away. I would let them all go, but... It's not up to me. Deborah, my not so faithful assistant. You've been feeding my enemies info since the start! <laughs> I swear I. Bet all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life 
his life, even my life. <sighs> You have always known right from wrong. I am begging you. Oh, God. What did I do? What... What did he make me do? Now, Bruce! Stay back! Oh, God, please don't. Harvey, no more. I'm just getting started! This is the only way to keep people in line! Harvey, please! You called me here for a reason. Take me! You... you were Harvey's friend, Wayne. He thought you'd save this city together. But he... He was a fool for believing in you! <sighs> <sighs> That's enough, Harvey. You're... You're right. Oh, God. Two-faced move, I know. But sometimes, you have to make your own luck. One last call. A bullet in the head, or one in the heart. I'm feeling pretty good about those odds. Give me the coin. I need... I need the result. Where do I shoot? Grab the damn coin! Okay. Without the coin, I can't. I don't know what to do. I don't think so. Bruce. Decide. That's too much. That's too much. Too much. I can't. Harvey. <laughs> A safer Gotham, Harvey. Just like you wanted. Wherever they put me, and whatever they do, I'll get out. I'm coming for you, Wayne. Nowhere is safe. You're gonna die. I'm gonna get you help, Harvey. We will get you better. I am better, Wayne. I'm the best I've ever been. Oh, you'll see. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Hmm. Mr. Wayne, I, I owe you so much. You're a hero, hmm. and I'm gonna make sure all of Gotham knows it. You should be rotting in Arkham! <laughs> Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love will burn. Okay. Try me. So, how shall we begin this? tea and the entire pantry I'm afraid didn't survive the fire this is from my own personal supply Alfred thanks Alfred you didn't have to we're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power well at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else same thing for couple pot Bruce these Last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. 
Not just the physical toll. Oh, emotional. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Yeah. Always letting you down. Well, not all people. You've never disappointed me, Alfred. But I have. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All Alfred, of it. Alfred, I told now. you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald. I don't blame you for what happened, Alfred. You did the best you could in an impossible situation. And it helped to make me the man I am today. Hmm. I... Thank you, Bruce. But our work isn't done. True, true. Sorry. <laughs> the Boys. children of Arkham are still out there. And Lady Arkham. True. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board. She's the only remaining piece. Yep. We That's need to correct. figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises <clears throat> and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. All right, let's your access that. administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just... See what he was doing. Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not. Unless. Hold on. Oh, look there. Oswald was, was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. Hmm. He was going to call it Falcone Island. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of yeah. course. Oh, Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains yeah. how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Oh. Sorry. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. No surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. what's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. Hmm. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? I'm checking a second. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah, oh, that's better.
wait. Oh, wait, oh, I didn't mean to go back. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's mm. check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. It's not letting me. It's not letting me access her. Hmm. Vicky Vale, mid thirties, reporter for the Gotham Gazette. And not in the public record, her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here, in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. The Gazette's records are the articles written by Vicki Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries, but yet... It doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to give justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message mm. fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Hmm. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. Hmm. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. Hmm. No more holes. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. Hmm. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill Falcone. And my father. Oh. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security hmm. at a Gotham landmark. Sorry, guys. <laughs> without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better lock. She stole from you? Hmm. After we opened our doors to her. After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Hmm. Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? Maybe she's just messing with me. It was some kind of joke. She broke into your office and stole valuable property as a joke. She has an unusual sense of humor. True. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. All right, we got Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred. Let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from Selena. All right, let's go.
Damn it. Hey, Bruce. I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. You should know by now not to underestimate me. I thought you might be busy with... I don't know, saving the world. I'm flattered I rank so highly. But I know you're not here for me, are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. That device is far too dangerous to be out in the world. If Lady Arkham got a hold of it, that blood would be on your hands. Wow, that's pretty dramatic, Bruce. Mm -hmm. But it's true. Catch. You might be exaggerating, but I'd rather not take the chance. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. So it was all just an act. Everything we've done together. A lie. That's how it started. Hmm. And now it's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire. And I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... But think of the fun. Maybe someday. Someday, yeah. Maybe I will be able to leave Gotham. But for now, I am the only one who can save this city. So humble. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout mm. Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. You and I may disagree on a lot of things, but I'm not worried about you. You're that sure? Bruce, I... I think I finally get what this is all about. You're mm. upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady. Is that what you really thought? I had fun, Selena. Didn't you? I'm all for fun, Bruce. But how long does this stay fun before you start wanting more? <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't terrible. Hmm. But you were just another job. A more... Intriguing job than I was expecting. But still a job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. Hmm. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. Hmm. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. It's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Uh, oh, Why hey. You How you doing? <laughs> I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? You fought by my side. And together we saved a lot of lives. Mm -hmm. We're a good team, Selena. You had to know that wouldn't last. But it was nice. While it did. Mm -hmm. You know, after I found out you were Batman, I thought nothing else could surprise me. But 
You just keep on surprising me. Oh. Something to remember me by. <laughs> I won't need any help remembering you. True. Well, it's been fun. You stay out of trouble. Because if I catch you taking what's not yours again, I'll have to stop you. <laughs> I look forward to our next dance. Hmm. Okay. So. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred? Alfred! 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 Oh, God. Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're okay. gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Yeah, we are. You need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? Alright. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. Oh. Ash everywhere. What did they do to you, Alfred? Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Hmm. All right, so let's look. Or let's keep looking around. How the hell? was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. All right, let's look around. This pool cue was used as a weapon, swung mm. so hard it broke in half. Nothing further of it. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. And a scuff mark. Hmm. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Alright, I think it's time we start linking stuff. So we're gonna definitely going to link uh the blood splatter with uh the pool cue. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon Broke it across his attacker's head When that didn't stop him He used the jagged end to stab him Spraying blood across the pool table Okay Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. Well, what's this supposed to link to? Yeah, there's that. Oh. Why won't it go this way? Come on!
Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. Hmm. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. Hmm. He broke it across one of their heads. Then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred mm. almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing mm. him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. Hmm. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Okay. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. Word reckoning. You have no idea. Bruce Wayne, you should be rotting in a padded cell. Now, your butler, the man who raised you like his own son, will suffer in your place. But don't worry. You'll get him back eventually. Peace, sky bloody peace. Alfred. Oh my god. Vicky will pay for this. I'll make sure of that. Look at what she's doing to him. All right. Well, then let's get to work. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Nice. Thinking, Alfred. <clears throat> okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Nice. Professional grade camera probably came from the Gazette's office. Okay. Stairs leading up, cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. Okay. You got it. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Water heaters. Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Okay. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. And stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Okay. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Hmm. The basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. By a bus stop. There we go. 
Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. Okay. Alright, yeah. First, let's go basement. Bus stops. We get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. Pair These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. Okay, filtering for all homes built on that date. A corner store. That seems unlikely. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House. Where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. Well, just in case she's expecting you. <laughs> what is that? Something I almost didn't get to finish because of Penguin. It's the most advanced version yet. Oh, <laughs> Lucius. I have no idea what I've got up these sleeves. Nice. Batsuit Mark II. Well done, Lucius. You've been long overdue for an upgrade. This suit is beyond state of the art. This ends tonight. Yes, it does. into the basement be careful hmm so let's go down back, back. I'm all right okay we were right there's no one here no Alfred damn it there's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. Alfred's blood is still fresh. Means we can't be far behind them. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. You're going to make them pay. Alfred, there's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. <clears throat> Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Take yeah. a closer look. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Veils have a false wall in their basement? Now let's find out where the Veils were hiding. There's a small room. With a hole in the floor. Rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Uh. I'm going inside. Alfred. No. It's some kind of 
torture chamber. Shackles, belts, blood. What? Vicky. She was kept down here, locked away. Who could do that to their child? I'm beginning to understand. What is there to understand? To willfully hurt a child? It's why she killed the Vales. They abused her. I'm not saying what she did was right, but... But... I can't imagine what she went through. The Vales' foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. Alright. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different. Newer. The belt. Mm. It's caked in blood. Bloody scratches. Fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. Alfred? No. Shackles. Blood on them. Old. And new. Vicky did to Alfred what was done to her. Disturbing. Vicky created her here, in this room. This is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. Laid down here. Oh, God. And <clears throat> Alfred's glasses. One piece apart from the others. Hmm. Red. Mm -hmm. The same color as my tack. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe... Words. They're highlighted. <laughs> Just letters. Taking me. Those towers. That must be Arkham Asylum. Vicky's own drawing of Arkham for the location. Arkham? But people would know. The staff would see them. That's the final piece. Arkham. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems. Including mm. Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors. Release the inmates. And she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. Hmm. Nice. the last of it then the children of Arkham have taken over that suits no slouch you're well prepared for a fight okay and the GCPD are on their way to deal with the inmates if you can find Alfred maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose almost ready let her know copy on our way 
Go ahead. I got this. Oh. Batman. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his pig. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Hmm. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. He's done nothing to you. He's not part of this. Of course he's a part of this. He's the one man Bruce Wayne might actually care about. Besides himself. His suffering will teach Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham needs to learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You wouldn't know how I survived. I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. <laughs> underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. Batman. He stuck me in here! Me too. Let me out of He's the crazy one. Alright. Time to get to her. systems offline every inmates loose the leader of the children of Arkham did you see her they went <laughs> Okay, got that one. Alright, that's one. 
two. Three. Four. Five. Get to her. Take your time, sons. That's the plan. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> John. Too inspiring. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. Thank you. Batman! Lady Arkham has a hostage. We've got the inmates. Lock it down. All right. <laughs> so fixated on that door. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. Oh. Going, going into the depths. Is this the catacombs of Arkham? Vicky, show yourself. <laughs> Let him go. The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his son. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. I'll bring you Wayne, but first, let Alfred Pennyworth go. No, no, no. Afraid he's too useful to do that just yet. You're doing so much for one old man. All right, let's keep going. Vicky, stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. All right, there's gonna be another one. We want the same things. Those men deserved their day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final. And absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than his father? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward. 
leaving other men to carry his burdens. I don't think so. I honestly think you are in the wrong here because you do not know how much Wayne gets in uh gets down and dirty. I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. You do not do that, Becky! Okay. Okay, so are we in a cathedral or something now? Hmm. Alfred. Hold on, Alfred. You 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 came. You came for me. After what you said, I knew you'd come. The man, the man I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Above you! All right. <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar, Alfred. <laughs> such concern for someone you've never met before release him then we'll talk <laughs> you know I just don't believe you I think Alfred may be the only way I can make you talk it makes me wonder do you really care only one way to find out oh. Batman don't you shut up old man You've seen my true self. Your turn. To prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. Okay. If that's what it's your demise. To save him. No! Must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true Wayne. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. You're right about my father. The things he did are unforgivable. But I am trying to make up for his crimes. I wear this mask to help people. I'm not some naive socialite you can sweet talk. I know a liar when I see one. that
Take him up, take her out, take her out. Symbol's only half full. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, ho, ho. oh no! Stop, Vicky. It's over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge! <laughs> this is good. You belong in this place, Bruce. Lost, forgotten, buried, and Gotham will not mourn. The sins of the Wayne bloodline end here! Oh, oh, oh. We got out of there. Thank As God. to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Nice. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's Reign of Terror. <sighs> if the All public right. knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. Okay. Selena. Hmm. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But... Uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. Yes, it was. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain. Gone. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. 
You don't know how good it is to hear you say that. After everything that's happened. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. Hmm. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. Yep. You should be proud. Gotham is safer now. I only hope the peace will last. We could all use some peace. To peace. Hmm. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue yes. during an emergency citywide address. And Next I hope, season. Despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Yes. Will token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that. Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a first start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Hmm. Thank you, Alfred. Uh. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, True. get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask. And one is who you truly believe you are. Let Gordon know Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression Gordon will be grateful. Hmm. I need to repair my name. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. It doesn't sound right. <laughs> Sounds right to Don't me. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving. What'd you use? A chainsaw? <laughs> well, to be honest. I was surprised to get your call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor, I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Yeah. Before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. Gotham doesn't have to like me, but I do hope they'll hear me out. I appreciate that. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not to mention, <laughs> he makes one hell of an impression on people. If Batman isn't here, it's because he's more needed somewhere else. I wouldn't take it personally. <laughs> Good advice when it comes to that guy. Yeah. They're ready for you, Commissioner. 
Now, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. Yep. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. <sighs> Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. Yeah. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father. Or at least as a result of his actions. I loved my father. But nothing can excuse what he did. So today, I stand before you as my own man. Heir not to the Wayne legacy, but to Gotham's. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, a closer alliance between the GCPD and Wayne Enterprises will provide the police force with the support, with the training, and the equipment they need to make Gotham safer than it ever has been before. The GCPD will be the most technologically advanced police force in the country because the people of Gotham deserve to feel safe. She was surprised. Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. See you soon, Brucey. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good. I can't wait for next season. So yeah, we pocketed Harvey's coin. And that we were in the, Yeah, me we were in the yeah. We comfort we comfort comforted uh Alfred and that he wasn't to blame. And so did everyone else. Yep, ninety one point three percent of players regard um yeah, regarded her as more than a thief. And I, I was in the uh, right to remove the cow, cowl. And yes, I was in the right to um, go as Bruce. Oh, I wasn't in. I wasn't in the right for um, to pocket Harvey's coin. All right. Alright. Guess okay, so sixty one percent merciful, sixty eight percent cunning, and eighty one percent collaborative. Hundred percent uh Yeah, hundred percent of whatever that was at the top. I don't know why I clicked up. Guys well, unlike the like the Walking Dead, this was the final episode of this season. But unlike it, there is no DLC for this one, as to my knowledge. <laughs> but uh, 
This, um, when it comes, the difference between this one and The Walking Dead, it's gonna pro, it may take a little bit longer to start up, uh, season two of Batman because I, I, I still have to get it still. I already have season two of The Walking Dead, but I still have to do the DLC, so. I will, uh, try my best to get everything I, uh, to get the season, get season two as quickly as possible. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, uh, episode or this season of Batman the Telltale series. If you have hit that like button down below to show your support for the channel, because it would be amazing if you did. Yeah, as I said, I hope you have enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, become a part of the Z Force. Yeah, take care, everybody. Bye bye. See ya!